In this video, I'm going to show you what I did to convert my old ANA A8 into a mini CNC. This video is pretty much going to be just a slideshow of pictures showing you the process I went through and the results. One of the best things I made was this ant shadow box frame. I think it came out pretty nicely. The first thing that I did was take off the extruder of the ANA A8. Bought a cheap $10 Dremel from Harbor Freight. I then proceeded to take off the extruder bracket. I then proceeded to use Fusion 360 to create my own bracket that I could hook the Dremel into. The design was okay, but the result kind of flexed due to heat. I printed this in PLA, but it would be a lot better if printed in something else, maybe PETG or carbon fiber. Here's a little testing clip of it, as you can see, it fits on pretty well and it uses all the stock linear bearings and rods that are on the AA originally. I made it so that when you level it, it'll be up to the wood piece. And here's turning it on, I just kind of put the slide switch right there that came with the Dremel and I strapped a fan to it. And here's me test cutting a wood piece. I set the plunge rate to be really low so that it didn't feed up the Dremel too much. Surprisingly though, it did actually work. I was also using a really bad Dremel bit that's not really meant for cutting this, but it came out pretty crispy in the end. The sides were very defined, and for the shape that I decided to try with, which is a semicircle and a rectangle, the edges were good as well. So some last thoughts here. I kind of just did this for fun because I got an Ender 3 as my main printer to mess around with. I don't exactly recommend strapping a Dremel to your 3D printer and expecting it to be in CNC because it still uses the pulley system, whereas typical CNCs like the 3018 use a threaded rod system, which is going to be much better for forcing a hard load on the Dremel. While it's definitely possible, as shown in this video, it's probably not ideal. So if you want to make a little small CNC, I recommend just getting a 3018 kit and then building it up to be something that's stronger. I think I've seen in a couple YouTube videos that there's even 3018s with maybe a couple upgrades that can cut aluminum. They can definitely cut wood and acrylic because I now have a 3018 and I've also made circuit boards with it and stuff like that so I probably would recommend one of those instead. And with all things considered, the 3018 kits are super cheap. They're even below $150 on eBay. Well, thanks for watching this video and watching me turn my ANET A8 into a monstrosity. Have a good day.